I am Anil Kumar and in these couple of videos we will discuss an application of quadratic function. It is to relate cost function, revenue function and profit function. Now here is the question. If the price or demand function is p of x equals to 50 minus 1.25x and the cost function c of x is equals to 160 plus 10x determine revenue function and maximum revenue. Part B is break even points. Part C is determine the maximum profit and the price for the same. And part D is graph related function. That means all of these. Now instead of four videos, I'm going to answer this question. You can pause the video now, answer it yourself, and then look into my suggestions. Let me give you basic definitions and the approach. When we say revenue function, then it really means price function into number of items sold. Now in this function which we have defined, x is number of items, let me write it down, where x is number of items. And the cost is in dollars, okay, and cost is in dollars. Okay, now revenue will be price times the number of items sold. Now price is also called demand function, which is P of X here. So revenue function, let R of X be the revenue function, will be equals to X times P of X. So to find the revenue function, you have to multiply this linear function, which is given, given as a demand function, by X. So X times 50 minus 1.2X will give you the revenue function. So from here you can find the maximum revenue. You can use completing the squares or you could, these are in fact at form. So you can find x is a symmetry and then do it, right? Now break even points are the points where revenue is equals to cost function. So revenue function is what we will get in part A and break even is Cost function 160 plus 10x should be equal to revenue. When you equate this, you can find the value of x, which will give you break-even points. Part C is determine the maximum profit. So first thing is, what is profit function? Profit is revenue minus cost. So from these, you know the revenue function and the cost function is given to you. They are different. Simplify it, you will get a polynomial in the form of a quadratic function, which will represent the profit. Now to maximize the profit, you need to do completing the squares. You'll know for how many items, what is the profit, maximum profit. And then in the fourth video, we'll graph all these relations and then finally summarize it. So I hope with this, the concept is clear to you. Let's move on and see how to solve for the revenue function. Thank you and all the best.